In this lesson we're going to go ahead and take a look at commenting. And comments are wonderful because it gives me an option to be able to write whatever I want here on the back end, which is going to be my code, and it will never to be displayed here on the web page itself. And so we have here from the previous lesson the echo statement that I've got there, hello world. Now there are two different ways of commenting, commenting things out. I can use two forward slashes in a row, and that's going to go ahead and start what's called a line comment. And anything that's on the line from this point on, on this particular line, which is going to be line three, anything after these two forward slashes is going to be considered a comment and will not be displayed. So for instance, if I type in, this will not be displayed, you can see that the color of this one is green. And if I go ahead and save my page and refresh it, it is not going to show up on my text. It is a comment, so I can type anything that I want. Unfortunately, using this method, if I go to the next line and start typing, this also will not be displayed. And I go ahead and hit save and refresh my page. You can see, oh, I've got a problem here. Okay, And so what has happened is, is try to interpret what this was. This is not a tip, this is not a PHP statement or a PHP function. And so I've got a problem. I can go ahead and echo this if I were to say echo and then put that in double quotes and end with a semicolon and now save it. You can see that it is now being displayed. And so how I could get rid of that is I could keep putting double forward slashes and now if I hit save and refresh it it's not going to show up. However, if I have multiple lines like that, this may not be the best way to do it. So let me show you another way, and that is with using what's called a block comment. And how a block comment is going to work is we're going to start with a forward slash, and then we're going to have an asterisk. And you're going to notice if I take these out, everything is going to be green from this point on. Anything that I type in, even my ending PHP delimiter here, is going to be green. And that's because this starts what's called, basically, it's going to continue this block comment. It'll continue until it finds the code to end my comment. Now I'll need to type that in. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and end it right after this here on line 5. I'm going to end that with the asterisk forward slash. And so from this point on, anything that falls between this and that is going to be a comment itself. So that gives me the option to write paragraphs worth of comments if I need to. Now I don't need to write any paragraphs worth of comments now, however I have the option to do that. I also want to point out the fact that if I already have code like echo hello world, I can add a comment here after this using the two forward slashes and the code that's to the left of this will still work. So I can go ahead and kind of line comment it here and just put this prints to the screen. If I save my page and refresh it, you'll notice it still says hello world. So this is how we use line comments. And I'm going to go ahead and take out the block comment now because we won't use that again for the next video. However, I'll go ahead and leave the two forward slashes in here. And throughout this series, we're going to be putting in a lot of line comments to kind of tell ourselves what's going on within our code. So this concludes the video on commenting within PHP.